Today on our 2009 GMC Yukon, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha Primus IQ trailer brake controller. This is a proportional controller that works for one up to three axles. Its part number is TK90160. Now here's what the Primus IQ is ultimately going to look like once we get it installed. As you can see, we've got a single red dot right here. That indicates that we've got power to the unit. Let me go ahead and hook up the trailer. What we're hoping to see is this switch and show a small C. All right, with the C being displayed, that means that the brake controller does recognize our trailer, so we've got our wires hooked up properly. A few quick things about it. We've got a slide manual override lever here. This helps us to apply brakes to our trailer only in the emergency situations where we start getting some sway or we need to get it straightened back out. On the side, we've got a dial. This is gonna allow us to adjust the amount of braking force that's being sent back to our trailer. We can turn this all the way down to zero or all the way up to 11. And that'll give us maximum effectiveness of the full 11 power, the maximum power that the brake controller can send to the rear. But since it is a proportional system, it's only gonna use as much of that as what it needs. The small button on top, that's gonna to control our boost levels. We've got B blank, that's not gonna be a boost setting. And we've got one, two, and three. Depending how heavy the trailer is in relation to the vehicle that we're towing it with, we'll wanna set these accordingly. The heavier the trailer, the higher we wanna go on our boost mode. This is gonna give us an initial immediate braking force to get everything started, and then it'll revert back to the proportional aspect and only use what's required to get our trailer and vehicle safely stopped. With a proportional system, rather than a time delayed system, this is gonna allow us to use just the braking force we need, and it won't cause the brakes to overheat or something like that when we're sitting at a stop. This uses an internal accelerometer, and as we're heading down the road and we apply the brakes, it recognizes that and sends that signal to the rear. The harder that we hit the brakes, the more power is gonna to go to the rear. The easier we hit the brakes, if we're just in stop and go traffic, just kind of easing along, it's not situationally correct, then it's not gonna give us much braking power so we're not wearing out all the components on our trailer. Now every time we manually override, it'll come up to our maximum braking potential that we've got set. So whether we set that down to a 2.3, let's say, or all the way up to an 8.0, when we hit that lever, it'll activate for us. A few really nice features about the Primus IQ are gonna be first, it has a continual diagnostics check. So it's gonna check and make sure that we have the proper connection between our vehicle and our trailer. If we don't, we're gonna see the C turn into an NC, indicating that our trailer has come disconnected and we need to address it. Another nice feature, we've got an auto leveling system in the Primus IQ. So whether we set it at about zero degrees or all the way up to 70 degrees, it's gonna level itself out, so we're not gonna to have to worry about levers and switches to try to get it dialed in. It also has protection built right in that can protect both your vehicle, brake controller, and trailer from an overload situation. Now to begin our installation, we need to find our factory pigtail. So we'll go right straight behind the parking brake release lever here. It's gonna be a little piece of black plastic, and right behind there, you see this little piece of white wire, and then it's got four wires that run down, all have tape on the end. So we'll turn that back, and then we can pull those on down. We've got a dark blue, a blue with white, a white, and a red with black. Now we can start pulling the tape off the end of our wires here. Our next step will be installing the pigtail on the existing wiring. So we're going to strip back the red and black wire, add on one of the provided butt connectors. The two bigger wires, the yellow ones go on, the two smaller, the blue ones that are provided will go on. Crimp that down. Now that's gonna connect to the black wire from our Takancha pigtail. That's our power wire, that's why we connected it to our power source. The dark blue is gonna be our auxiliary. So that's gonna be our, our brake wire. This is where we'll connect our blue wire, that's gonna give us the brake signal to the back, to our trailer. Next we've got our white ground wire, so we'll get those connected. And finally, we've got our red wire. That's gonna go to our 
light blue and white. I'm gonna just kind of bring some tape all the way down and clean it up. It's nice and clean and be ready to hook right into the back of our brake controller. Let's get it mounted into place. Now we're gonna have two bracket choices here. We've got the kind of the quick release style. The back is gonna slide in here and it'll clip up into three different positions. You can see one, two, and three here on the side of the Primus. Just like that. As you can see, we can bring this up, bring this down for a little bit better adjustability. Or we've got, you know, what's kind of been the industry standard or what most common brake controller bracket here. Also, nice and adjustable down there at the bottom. You can mount it fixed at the top, but they both share about the same hole pattern here. Now for our install today, we're gonna to use our standard bracket. We've got a great location right here underneath the dashboard that we can use to mount it. You can see we've got a screw right here that holds the tab in, goes up to metal behind it. I really like this. So what we're able to do is back the screw out, bring our bracket right up behind there, then we put the screw right back in. And then we'll put a self tapper Right over here on the other side, there's a nice surface there. And you see, we got our bracket installed. I like going under dash here because it just, you know, we won't have to worry about any holes or anything. You've got the option of going anywhere up through this area that you like, down through here. I'd use a little bit of caution going over here on the left side up high. You might bump it with your knee when you're getting in and out. But this being a proportional system, as long as we stay within our tolerances for our degree of angle, we can mount it wherever we want, as long as it's within reach where it can be safely operated. Now we can take our brake controller and one of the self-tapping screws and bring it up. And we're just gonna put that right through the side into the hole on the side of the controller. Let's get our second one done back here. And we'll kind of loosen it up, give us a little flexibility and do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll pick the angle we want and just cinch down our bolts. All right, nice and snug. All we have to do is plug our pigtail in. That connected into the back. Let's get our wires secured up out of the way here. We'll tuck in nicely behind our little floor vent heater here. We'll just put one zip tie around it just to make sure it doesn't come down on us. So right down here, wrapped around the wire loom, there's a red and black wire. Pull it up. See, it's gonna have a, it's kind of a flat ring terminal on it already. We're gonna route that over to our smaller of the two posts that are here on the front side of our battery box. Just take a flange nut, put that down on there to hold it in place. Now we're also gonna look right here to the side of the box. There's another wire. We'll pull that one out as well. And that one gets connected to the opposite side right there on that little bit larger stud. One of those are going to provide the 12 volt power that you're going to need at your rear trailer. The other one's going to provide the power for our brake controller so we can get a signal to it. Tighten those nuts. You're also going to want to have a 30 and a 40 J case fuse here. That's what makes a connection for that to run our power through. This vehicle already had it installed, so we won't have to worry about it. Bring our cover back on. Now with our simulated trailer connected there, we're gonna go ahead and test it by moving our manual override over. What we're hoping to see is our needle go up. With our trailer connector getting a signal, we know our brake controller's working great. And that's going to complete today's installation of the Takancha Primus IQ trailer brake controller. Its part number is TK90160 on our 2009 GMC Yukon.